there is no magical shortcut or no instant fix for learning the new concept you have everything all set and done ready in today's video there are few steps that i'll teach you which are very easy and effective and let me just briefly summarize it for you and remind you about how you can improve your solving skills significantly by watching these videos to understand the concept clearly and today's topic is from tests of hypothesis from large samples now the topic is the procedure for testing hypothesis so this is repeatedly asked a question which is very important and he, see here the various steps involving in testing of hypothesis are given below in fact the same steps are followed for conducting all the tests of significance so here is the first step step 1 null hypothesis define or set up a null hypothesis h not taking into consideration the nature of the problem and the data involved the first step is we have to set up the null hypothesis h not taking into consideration the nature of the problem and the data involved and the next one is step 2 which is nothing but alternative hypothesis set up the alternative hypothesis h1 so that we can decide whether we should use one tailed or two tailed tests and this is step 2 and next one is step 3 which is level of significance select the appropriate level of significance alpha depending upon the reliability of the estimates and the permissible risks that is a suitable alpha is selected in advance if it is not given so if it is not given in the problem usually we choose 5% level of significance and the next one is step 4 that is test statistics so compute the test statistics z is equal to t minus u of t by standard error of t under the null hypothesis here t is the sample statistics and sc is the standard error of t see here step 5 this is the conclusion part so we compare the com computed value of the test statistics z with the critical value z alpha so we have to compare with the computed value and z alpha that is the given level of significance alpha if z alpha is less than z alpha if z the computed value less than z alpha then we conclude that it is not significant we accept the null data if the computed value is less than z alpha then we accept the null hypothesis if z mod z is greater than z alpha see here then we reject the level of significance the null hypothesis is rejected here and whereas here the null hypothesis is accepted so after computing the value so we have to compare with z alpha if z is less than z alpha then we accept the null hypothesis if z is greater than z alpha then the null hypothesis is rejected so these are the five steps involved in the procedure of testing of hypothesis so this is very important the theory part is also very important all the five steps should be noted and all the five steps should be used while testing the hypothesis and based on this procedure of testing of hypothesis i am going to upload so many problems related to this series please don't miss that video also so this is very very important topic that is testing of hypothesis for large samples for statistical students so please watch all my videos which are uploaded in the playlist and if you really like please raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and pass it on to as many friends as you can that is the greatest help needed to this channel thank you for staying till the end